you've got to format a sheet in Excel. So you spend all your time formatting a worksheet and now you've got to do a second one or five more or 10 more or more. So here's a way to format all the sheet tabs at once using the grouped sheets feature in Microsoft Excel. It's a real time saver and you even get a little extra something at the end. So give me a couple of minutes and let me show you how to format all the sheets at once in Microsoft Excel using grouped sheets. So to start formatting using group sheets, I'm going to first need some more sheets. So I'm going to create some more sheet tabs in this workbook by using a keystroke. And that keystroke is the shift key and then the F11 key on your keyboard. And that creates sheet tabs. So let me add a few, maybe two or three or four or five. And now we'll format all of these sheet tabs at once. Now I'm going to use the first one as a summary sheet. So I'm going to type in a total for all of our expenses. And zoom that in. So on the other sheet tabs, I'm actually going to create a small little expense ledger and we're going to do a little bit of formatting on it and do all of that formatting at once using the group sheets feature. So let's go to the first sheet tab and then to group those sheets, I'm going to just hold the shift key and then click the last sheet tab. You'll notice all the sheet tabs turn white. That means they're all grouped. And if you need to ungroup them, you can just right click on any one of the sheet tabs and choose ungroup sheets and they're back. So if I want to group sheets out of order, I can also select the first sheet tab that I want. Then I can hold the control key and then click any of the other ones out of order so I can group them and then format them the same way. In our example, we'll just right click and ungroup them and then group all of the sheet tabs except for the first one. So if I'm on the first sheet tab, I'll just hold the shift key, click the last one, and now all the sheet tabs are grouped first thing I'm going to do is do a little zooming in and then I'll create my small expense ledger. So we'll start off by doing it by month and then we'll outline all the expenses. So let's just say rent, auto, food, and fun. Under our months, we'll start with the beginning and do January. And we'll use the auto fill feature to just single click that cell and then grab the fill handle here at the bottom right corner and just drag down a few months and we'll get all the months. When I let go, I've pretty much got entries uh, starting my expense ledger. So let's do a, a few things to uh, update this. And the first thing we'll do is add some color. So for the months, I'll add a little bit of color just by selecting the color bucket up there. And then for the categories, we'll throw in maybe another color. Let's go with the blue. At the bottom of each of these, I'm going to want to total each of the expenses. So I'll go to the bottom here and then I'll create a total. And in the first cell, use the auto sum button here on the home tab and then over to auto sum. So I'll just select that button. That'll create the sum function here and then I'll sum all of the cells above in the rent column. When I press enter, I now get a sum, which of course is empty at the moment. So I'll just grab that sum use that fill handle down here at the bottom and drag across for all the other columns. And now any entries that I create in this uh, expense ledger will be totaled down at the bottom. So let's finish up with a little bit of formatting by changing it to a currency symbol. And then widening all of the columns just a little bit. And here's a trick for that. If you hold your mouse just over uh, in between the uh, two columns and click and drag out to the right, it will widen all of them the exact same distance. 
So now we've created a small expense ledger, and at the end of this, I'm just going to want to total all of the expenses. So I'll put that calculation here and then use our auto sum again here on the home tab and then sum automatically. So all I've got to do is press the enter key. So now we've got a grand total. What I'll do is move to the bottom here and then right click any of the sheet tabs and choose ungroup the sheets. Now if I go to any of the sheet tabs, the first thing you'll notice is that all of the sheet tabs are formatted exactly the same. By just selecting all the sheet tabs that I want to do in advance and grouping them, I can now just do the formatting once. Plus, if I have to make any changes to the formatting, I can just regroup them and make all the changes in exactly the same places on every sheet. Now, I promise you an extra. Here it is. I'm going to move to our summary sheet. And before we even get started, let's put a few numbers into our expense ledger. So I'm going to go ahead and regroup these sheets again by holding the shift key and then clicking the last sheet. All the sheet tabs are now grouped and I'm going to add just a couple of entries. So let's throw a little rent in. Something for the auto. And after a few clicks and drags, we now have expenses in every cell. Now we'll go back to ungroup these sheets again. Right click and then ungroup sheets and then move to our total sheet. So if I want to summarize the expenses in all of the other sheet tabs, I can just use 3D calculation. 3D calculation lets you create sums, averages, and other formulas through worksheets. The only rule is that the totals have to be in the same place on every sheet tab. And because we use the group sheets formatting option, we now have totals in exactly the same cell on every worksheet. So let's go back to our total and create our 3D calculation. To use it, it's equals and then sum. Although I could use other calculations. Open the parenthesis and then move to the first sheet tab and select the first total. To finish the process, I just have to hold the shift key and then click the last sheet tab. That's it. All I have to do now is to close the parenthesis and press the enter key. And now it calculates all of the totals throughout all of the other sheet tabs. That's 3D calculation. And that's using the grouped sheets feature in Microsoft Excel to speed up your formatting.